Well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that box is just too big to fit on the desk. But you can see what it is, so I'm going to take it out of the box, and we're going to have a look. This is probably the biggest box I ever got from China. As you guys can see, this is the new 2020 arrival, and it's 14 bits. So that's a much better than your old 8-bit ones that we're used to seeing from, you know, the regular Chinese suspects. See, we got an IEC cable. Got a BNC to BNC, BNC to alligator clip, USB. We got a manual. A warranty card and ah, come on out of the box there. We got the unit and we got a train coming. Isn't that nice? Okay, we take a look at the back of it here. You can see we have AC 85 to 264 volts, 47 to 63 hertz. It's got a uh, what 250 volt AC fuse in it. It's also got a plus uh, 5 volt DC. Uh, input that's interesting our USB we have a, a TTL output we have sync in we have sync out then we have this here GPIO also has a grounding strap and this weighs nothing it is super light so let's get some power to it take off this screen protector here and we'll fire it up and have a look so if we have a quick look through the manual here, this is from Juntech, and I've done a few of their signal generators in the past. They've always been really, relatively good, no problems at all. This is the PSG9080. There's a uh, code you can download to get their uh, manual online. But information. Some instructions, talks about modulation, uh, AM, FM, PM, uh, phase modulation, which is a variation of FM really. ASK, this mod modulation method uses the baseband digital signal to control amplitude variation of the carrier, which is called amplitude, oh, ASK shift keying, okay. And FSK, which is frequency shift keying. Well, this has a lot of modulation built, built, built into it. PSK. Interesting. We also have a pulse function with a pulse range of 0 0.001 microseconds to 4 seconds. A burst function, which can output 1 to... How many zeros is that? 1, 2, 3, 4. It's like 100 million? Maybe 10 million. It will also work as a uh, frequency measuring device and a counter. It will do sweeps. And it also has a VCO, voltage controlled interface, so you can control the what amplitude with the voltage. Wow. Or you control the frequency with the voltage. Yeah, voltage controlled frequency. And voltage controlled amplitude, voltage controlled. Dude, wow, you can control it all. That is very interesting. This has a lot of functions. All right, let's power it up. Okay, so we've powered it on, and it goes right into a 10 kilohertz square wave. Which, if we take a look here at the oscilloscope, you can see right there. 10 kilohertz RMS of 1.75 volts. Now if we're looking at this, we have wave, frequency, amplitude, offset, duty cycle, and phase. So if we want to change our wave type, we can go here. If we turn the knob, yep, sine, square, pulse, triangle, ramp, CMOS, uh, DC, Dev sign half wave modulation full wave 
modulation positive ladder, negative ladder, uh, positive negative trap positive and negative trapezoidal white noise, exponential rise, exponential fall, logarithmic rise, logarithmic fall, uh, sync pulse, multi-tone, Lorenz, and then you have your arbitraries. So let's come in here and take a look at something a little bit interesting. Uh, here's our positive ladder. And then if we bring in the oscilloscope and look, boom, looks really good. And if I just switch through here, you can see it changing just as I switch them, no problem at all. Bring my trigger up there so we lock. There we go. So switching waves is relatively simple. What about amplitude? There is uh, 5 volts. Use the arrow keys here to move over. So we'll bring that down, say, 1 volt. Then you can come in here and look and see that. Let's bring in a uh, measurement here. Measure. We don't need those. We want peak to peak. There you go. You can see our peak to peak measurement is just at one volt. So that works out really nice. Let's take it up to two volts. And we'll change our frequency. We're at uh, 10 kilohertz now. Let's crank that up to 100k. Back to our scope, and you can see again, right at 100k. No problem at all. Let's take a look at the uh, modulations. Okay, so what I've done is I've set us for a 2 volt peak to peak. 1 kilohertz sine wave and there you can see it no problem at all and we can hit we hit the modulation button and we can choose our type there we have the AM FM uh, phase modulation uh, shift key frequency shift keying PSK PWM burst Let's go with an amplitude modulation sine wave internal 500 hertz. And we take a look at the oscilloscope. There it is. Let's go uh, FM modulation. and frequency deviation and there you can see our FM modulation so it all works very nice let's uh let's go up here take a look at the uh, burst mode so burst idle at zero positive max negative max zero method Oops, that's our trigger let's go back how we get out of there okay we hit number there we go how many how many bursts do we want let's say we want 10 oh. how about yeah we'll go 10 There we go. Trigger screen. Press button. And exit. Now we're back to the sine wave. Let's try that again. Modulation burst zero. Press trigger. Do I have a trigger button on here somewhere? Is this it? Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. There's our burst. So that's all working out pretty nice. We've seen our sweep. We've seen our burst. 
Uh, so we had function. Oh, we have programming mode. I'm not going to get into that. So far, very cool. One last thing to look at there is our measurement functions. We can do a, a counter or a frequency counter. There's our system menu. Brightness, language, 21 built-in waveforms, 15 arbitrary waveforms. Wow, this is a PSG 9080. This is our part number, hardware version 1.2, firmware version 1.2, and the website juntex.com. So very nice. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a quick look at the Juntex 9080. It's available for around $180 which might sound a little bit expensive but if you compare this to you know the higher end Regal or a Tektronix where you're looking at maybe paying $500 for one of these I think it's pretty reasonable I will do a more up uh, in depth review of this later on and we'll take it apart and see what's inside it is so light I don't really think there's much inside of it probably just a uh, DDS board and a power supply but we'll do that at a later date. I just wanted to get this out. I've been waiting for this for about three months. So I wanted to get the video out and show you guys what we had here. So the Juntech PSG 9080 Programmable Signal Generator. I think it's pretty neat. Let me know what you think down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.